How do you know you're not an introverted beta but a sigma male? Are you a sigma male, or are you a shy beta male? Even though they are very different in many ways, sigma males and introverted beta males can be mistaken for each other based on how they look and act. This is because, to most people, they both seem quiet and shy. In reality, though, the two types of people are almost opposites, except for the fact that they are both quieter. Because of how similar they look, many introverted beta males have convinced themselves that they are sigma males because they look like them. In the same way, some sigma males are surrounded by shy beta males and don't realize that they are different from their peers. Let's talk about the main differences between sigma males and introverted betas so you can learn to tell them apart more easily. Betas always come in last. When it comes to life, beta males will almost always be in the back. They rarely want to be great, and they don't look for leadership roles. Most of the time, they are happy to follow what other people do. People think they can't make up their minds because they don't want to make a choice they'll later regret. This usually makes them a bad choice for a leader, because when it comes down to it, they won't be able to act decisively. Sigmas can be excellent leaders. Just like beta males, sigma males are not known for wanting to be in charge. Still, the difference between sigmas and introverted betas is that sigma males can become strong leaders, even though neither of them seeks out leadership roles. Sigma males tend to shy away from these roles because they tend to be lone wolves. However, their strong will, respect for others, and ability to think critically make them some of the best leaders when duty calls. The most important thing for a beta is to be liked. The most important thing for a shy beta male is to be liked and respected by his peers. He'll do anything to fit in with the people around him, and he depends on other people to help him reach his goals. Beta males set their goals based on what they think other people will respect and like. At the end of the day, beta males think that the world is all about their status and want to be accepted. Sigma's main goal is to be on its own. While an introverted beta male wants to be liked and respected by his peers, a sigma male doesn't care about that. Instead, a sigma male's main goal is to gain and keep as much independence as possible. Sigma men want to live life on their terms and won't give in to the pressures and expectations of those around them. The biggest difference between sigma males and introverted beta males may be the difference between how much they want to be accepted and how much they want to be on their own. From the outside, both introverted beta males and sigma males may look like they are deep thinkers, but their minds couldn't be more different. By understanding these key differences, you can figure out the real reason why someone is quieter. Betas are part of the social order. The basic social structure that beta males follow is the traditional social order, which puts alphas on top and betas below them. They look up to what they think is the natural dominance of alpha males and think that this natural dominance is the key to being successful in society. Even though these beta males are shy, they will try to use their relationships with alpha males to move up the social dominance hierarchy, gain respect, and open doors for themselves. These shy beta males think that they can reach their goals and get what they want in life if they stay on good terms with those higher up than them. Sigma males don't fit into the social order. Sigma males, on the other hand, throw out the whole idea of a social hierarchy of power. They don't want to see society as a ladder where some people are at the top and others are at the bottom. Instead, they float outside of this hierarchical way of seeing the world. They don't care if someone is above or below them in the social hierarchy. Neither how they treat others nor how they expect to be treated is based on these ideas of rank. Instead, Sigma males see everyone as equal and judge them based on their values and actions. Betas seek approval. Because beta males think they live in a world with clear social ranks, they will try to prove themselves to others on the social dominance hierarchy by getting their approval. Because of this way of looking at the world, beta males see all social relationships as transactions and will try to get the best deal for themselves in every social interaction. They find it hard to have a sense of self-worth that isn't easily affected by what other people think or how they treat them. Sigmas give themselves a sense of worth. Sigma males, on the other hand, don't need or want validation from the outside world. Instead, a sigma male is in charge of how he sees himself. His sense of value and worth comes from how well he feels he is living his life according to his own beliefs. Sigma males don't lose sleep at night worrying about what other people might think of them. Instead, they do their own thing. Beta males have trouble setting limits. Because beta males often want to impress or win the approval of other people, they can often be people pleasers. So, it's hard for them to set limits between themselves and other people, 
and it's often hard for them to say what they want. They often agree to do things they might not have wanted to do in the first place because they want to be liked by other people. Sigma males stick to what they believe in. On the other end of the spectrum, there are the strong-willed Sigma males. How a Sigma male lives his life is based on his boundaries. Before going into a social situation, a Sigma male will set clear limits for himself based on what he wants, and nothing will get him to change these limits. They put on a show. Beta males often put on an act around people they want to impress to win their approval. This is not a mean or sneaky thing to do, but a natural result of wanting approval from others. Even the shyest beta males might exaggerate their skills or accomplishments to make themselves seem more impressive to other people. Sigmas are always true to who they are. Sigma males have no time for pretense. They are deep thinkers who spend a lot of time thinking about themselves and the world around them. This helps them develop a strong sense of who they are and whom they want to be. Sigma males care a lot about being honest and having integrity, and they are always very sincere when they talk to other people. This is a trait that, ironically, often earns them the respect of their peers, because those around them can see that the Sigma is confident enough in himself not to put on a show. Betas have trouble saying what they want. As beta males move up the hierarchy of social dominance, they often find themselves achieving someone else's goals instead of their own. Many beta males never even think about what they want to do with their lives, so they never come up with any real goals of their own. Instead, they will always be used by people with more ambition, working to make their dreams come true instead of their own. Sigmas stay true to their goals. Sigma males are creatures with very clear goals. They give a lot of thought to what they want to spend their time and energy on, and once they decide, they stick to their goals. Sigma males won't let outside setbacks or the words of others stop them from reaching their goals. This is one reason why Sigma males are often the first to do something new or different in their fields, they are willing to work toward their goals even if others think they are impossible. Betas stick with the way things are. When it comes to the status quo, beta males don't like to shake things up. Over time, betas develop a habit of doing what other people are used to and expect of them. Beta males think that by sticking to the status quo, they are making it more likely that the rest of society, which benefits from the status quo, will accept and reward them. Sigma males take risks. Sigma males, on the other hand, aren't afraid to make trouble in the world. When they need to, they take risks and don't worry about what other people will say about it. Many of the most influential people in history have been Sigma males who were able to change the world because they were not afraid to take risks. Betas always come in last. When it comes to life, beta males will almost always be in the back. They rarely want to be great, and they don't look for leadership roles. Most of the time, they are happy to follow what other people do. People think they can't make up their minds because they don't want to make a choice they'll later regret. This usually makes them a bad choice for a leader, because when it comes down to it, they won't be able to act decisively. Sigmas can be excellent leaders. Just like beta males, sigma males are not known for wanting to be in charge. Still, the difference between sigmas and introverted betas is that sigma males can become strong leaders, even though neither of them seeks out leadership roles. Sigma males tend to shy away from these roles because they tend to be lone wolves. However, their strong will, respect for others, and ability to think critically make them some of the best leaders when duty calls. The most important thing for a beta is to be liked. The most important thing for a shy beta male is to be liked and respected by his peers. He'll do anything to fit in with the people around him, and he depends on other people to help him reach his goals. Beta males set their goals based on what they think other people will respect and like. At the end of the day, beta males think that the world is all about their status and want to be accepted. Sigma's main goal is to be on its own. While an introverted beta male wants to be liked and respected by his peers, a sigma male doesn't care about that. Instead, a sigma male's main goal is to gain and keep as much independence as possible. Sigma men want to live life on their terms and won't give in to the pressures and expectations of those around them. The biggest difference between sigma males and introverted beta males may be the difference between how much they want to be accepted and how much they want to be on their own. From the outside, both introverted beta males and sigma males may look like they are deep thinkers, but their minds couldn't be more different. 
by understanding these key differences, you can figure out the real reason why someone is quieter.